Hey, welcome. I'm Coach Rudin, and I'm joined today by a special guest, Cody, and we are doing chef casting for you some Overwatch. Say hi, Cody. Hello, hello. Hey, hey, thanks for joining us. I'm going to hop us right into the match, and then we'll come back and get some more stuff there later because we already have a fight underway. Um, oh, really? Okay. Uh, looking at this from Ian's perspective, I think he's playing support, uh, backlining there. Yep, I wanted to move the characters. Uh, there's already been a fight. Okay. It looks like we're contesting. Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's a contested launch point there. What do you see, Tony? Uh, I don't see a stream. Oh, geez, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm sure it's a very exciting yeah, gameplay, it's though. Super exciting gameplay. There you go. What about now? Okay, I heard. Uh, Alright, looks like we got uh, Hannah up front playing Diva as our main tank. Uh, defensive Matrix just come down. Okay. Um, ah, okay. It's Overall, working now. Three people on pad. Uh, we're playing against Santa Margarita Catholic High School, SMCHS. This is the Eagles. It is Vikings versus Eagles, and uh, looks like neither team has gotten control of the pad for any length of time. They're still sitting zero percent on both sides. Zanazi takes a nice combo yeah. on Barry, who's playing the Reaper, uh, and that's of course Omar. And uh, looks like Amelia just got a kill on Fraser Carter. I hope I said that okay. <laughs> It looks like Overwatch might be winning. It seems like they're taking the point. Yeah, it's starting to get control here. And it looks like they're pushing forward to right. try to co control this choke point in advance of where the actual pad is. I'm assuming they've got one character standing back on the pad. Or does it just count up uh, on its own? I hope so. Okay. I, I think it counts up on its own, but I mean, you want someone to stay back so you don't get back after anything. Right. Here's a new character uh, from yeah. Overwatch 2 you might not be familiar with yet. Uh, she throws out the cards, she can and she can uh, do a fair amount of damage too. And she's got some pretty high mobility, and she can kind of teleport or dash through walls. A whole lot of fighting going on in the middle of that. Oakmont just gets a couple other kills. And uh, so far, oh, so wow. good. Yeah, it's looking pretty clean. It looks like an ulti may have been used in that fight, since I'm looking at the recharge there, and it's pretty low. I'm on but Amelia here uh, is fully charged for her ulti. Omar's about halfway up. And Hannah's near full of damage. I would love to see a, a Diva bomb drop. Like this is Hopefully she can use it to yeah. get up there. I think it's holding nicely. Yeah, I don't really Oh no, and she went baby Diva. She flew up her neck at that choke point goal. Did she get any kills? Oh, Doesn't look like she did. Oh my goodness. And she's three next. That is our team captain who sent some damage right there. That's what a four-year veteran looks like. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think we have any ultimates to uh, to combo a diva ult into, but if we she's still hitting them, then clearly it's working. Its own separate thing. Yeah, but I, again, yeah nothing, I nothing CC it. or anything. She didn't do the fancy yeah. old rocket drop thing. She just stood there and backed right out of it and then walked right into that choke point. That's yeah, mind games. Well played position. Yeah, it looks so it looks so passive. And uh, other team is desperately trying to meat grinder their way onto this one at a time, but they're just picking them off every time they're going. So, see, we still gotta be the yeah. characters off. Yeah, I feel like a concentrated push would do a lot better than just streaming in like yeah, this. Yeah, but the problem is one by one. they have about two, three seconds where they can't be touching the pad. That, oh, that oh yeah, yeah, I guess it's an open time, yeah. Yep, so that's, that's mm. the real problem there. All right, well, hey, first point goes to Oakmont. And I think... All right, nice, nice. At this point, we're switching sides. So now it is our turn to attack. I don't you believe don't this is the so next good. match yet. Maybe you should sit this one I think out this and is leave just the a role reversal. Are you familiar with that game, Oz? You shut up. Uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Is that, is I that mean, it's just, I think it's just capture point, right? Uh, I think so. Okay. Wait, hold on. Maybe I'm not extra. Familiar. Wait, maybe I don't remember how it works actually. I know they changed a couple things up for Overwatch 2. For example, last week there was a flashpoint map that was pretty cool, where like the the capture point kept rotating throughout this big multi-level market, 
And so you just because you capture one point doesn't mean you're done. Now you're close enough to rush this new area. It's a lot more mobile. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, looks yeah, like, I don't, uh, I don't know anything. Has not <laughs> Other team, though, it looks like they picked up a Bastion, right? Is that Bastion in the background? Is that a Reinhardt in the foreground? Yeah, that is definitely, I, that is a, definitely a Reinhardt, yeah. With the tank melted, the rest of the team should be pretty close enough. I'm surprised to get a counter kill, and I think that was Bastion's turret doing it. And we have Reaper versus Reaper Fratricide, uh, with Zanazi Omar taking down two kills. Followed by James uh, support getting one more kill there, and I believe that was their their other support character that took them. It's another point to Overwatch. Point capture at least. And it looks like heals coming through really well. I see our front line uh, at the full health still. Not even dipping. Oh, Archer's starting to dip there. She backs behind the wall. Reaper is staying pretty far out front, but the of damage, and they've got the other team uh, stuck behind this wall. Uh, yeah, they definitely got him pinned down. Oh, and uh, yeah, I mean, Reaper can definitely like face tank as long as he. Damage, and the goes down, trying to get the flank for the side attack on them. Uh, looks like kills are taken back on this episode, so it's still a 4v4. And uh, Omar goes wild! Flashing <laughs> his ulti for a gets, triple It's one of their supports. That was, was that a triple? Left oh, yeah. That, that was. If there had been a fourth person, he would have taken them down too. Man. Um. Yeah. Okay, here they come again. Archer deploying defensive matrix, keeping them from the fire to a minimum, and just kind of getting stuck in that trick point. I'm not sure what that circle of doom was, though. That was dead. Uh, I don't know. I think they switched their tank to a. Sumatra, I think is oh, that it? Oh, I think that was Archer's, yep, that was Archer's exploding map. She pulled the same trick as last time, just dropping the nuts right in the trick point. And, uh, letting it go. So, that is another map that goes to the Archer. And, uh, of course, Hannah can play just about anything, but Eva is her favorite. Omar going, going wild again with lots of assists from his team and support. Yep, and there's another match to uh, yeah, Overwatch. Wow, well, okay. Let's go. It was a stone wall. Way to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, and this is James on a support character, uh, Kiriko. She supports, she kind of looks damaged to me. She's a high damage support at the time of That just sounds like everything. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure she supports. I know she's got a heal. Well, that takes us to our first okay. match. All right. Nice, nice. It's a step step play, right? That's the replay buffer. Darn it. Next time. That's our new feature of the week. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll get you guys uh, round two pretty soon. It is a best of five. Uh, and, of course, this Thursday, we're hoping to stream some Super Smash as well. Um, maybe Cody will be able to help shoutcast that, too, if you'd like. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. Well, let's introduce our team here. Let's see if this works. Oh, all right. So that's uh, Hannah uh, Archer. You saw her on the Diva recently, dropping those nukes and standing right in the front line, soaking up that damage. Uh, although she also plays quite a bit of support. Uh, playing Diva, I think, is her favorite. And she's been our team captain for two years. Uh, next up, Omar. You saw him on the Reaper. Um, ooh, and I have not updated the slides on this one. Sorry about that, Omar. I'll get that done here on this computer soon. But yeah, he was putting down those triple kills with his uh, Reaper ultimate. Uh, and he also is an amazing chess player, too. So you see some big brain moves out of him. This is Amelia. Uh, she was, I think, on one of the two damage characters coming in for some of those flanks. And uh, she's our newest member of the team, but she's been playing since she was seven. It's a great addition. And then we've got Ian. Um, I think Ian was backlighting as a support character. So not necessarily the most flashy role, but uh, super important there. Um, so he's been flexed to support this week, and it seems like it's working out pretty well um, because I did not see those health bars dipping at all. And last up, James, I think, was our other damage player, unless I have Kiriko all mixed up. Um, he was that character I don't recognize in the back line, and he was, I think, also handing out good support and everything like that. Um, so pretty sweet stuff. Way to go, James. Good match all around. 
And yeah, that is our Oakmont uh, team. So we should be getting ready for the second match here pretty soon. Now, uh, you've been playing some League of Legends, right, Cody? I have, yes. How's I that have. been going for you? How do you like it? Um, it's been going pretty good. Been playing for a year. Uh, lately, the games have not been great. I've been losing a lot, but you know, it's been going good. That's going okay. Good. I've been losing a lot have too. You... Uh, I've, uh, I'm down to <laughs> three, and those are even good games. I saw. I, got, I saw. I yeah. Two S's and an A plus this week, and I lost all three of those matches. Uh, so it's the chaos of Iron Man. It's hurting me bad. I don't know how yeah. much more I Yeah, well, that just sounds it. like a team diff. Yeah, <laughs> and I'd like to say it's always that way, but some of the times it's, it's definitely me feeding too, so it's a rough game. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. You know? uh, now, uh, are you interested in uh, shoutcasting for an in-person Super Smash tournament too? Because that's coming up in about two weeks. Sure, yeah, as long as I don't have a, a schedule conflict. Yeah, oh, that okay. sounds fun. Cool, well, um, yeah. shout out to... I think one of the local middle school districts down there. Um, uh, I'm forgetting the name of which district it is, but they've got some great Super Smash tournaments. It's always fun to see the middle school and elementary school level doing their cool thing too. Yeah, I didn't even know middle school Smash was a thing. At least yeah. not not district organized. Yeah. There's uh there's like Quite impressive. a dozen schools up and running that show up to this tournament. About 200 people. It's pretty wild. Oh and wow! Oh my gosh! Oakmont are their shoutcasters. So last week or last time we had Akira down there. I don't know if you saw the little video clip I posted on Discord. Did yeah yeah yeah. It looks looked pretty nice. Yeah. Pretty fun. Hey, so when you were an Overwatch player, uh, what kind of characters did you play? Mm -hmm. Um, I liked Reinhardt because oh, okay. he was big and he had a big old shield. Yep. And pretty straightforward <laughs> yeah. there. Kind of the the Tom Kench yeah. game in some ways. Yeah, you might notice some similarities in who I like to play, yeah. Yep. Or and what about you? A, uh... Oh, shoot. Oh, can I yeah. get my mic up? I don't even know. This might be it. Let me see if I can add gain to my mic. Um. Yeah, or maybe like kind of a Nautilus type thing. Yeah. Yep. Oh, hey, it's blue. Oh, guess who I ran into this morning? I ran into red. What? Who is, um, who's red? Red, uh, Michael. He played... He plays a lot of Yorick these days, last I, last I heard. All right, I added oh, game yeah. to my mic. Hopefully that's good. It looks like it's in the yellow on my end. Okay, okay. All right, and it looks like we're hopping back into game here. So I will switch us over with buttons that work. There's that cool transition. Yep. And hopefully it didn't blow eardrums out. That's new with uh, slightly less thunder. That's the Another revised day, version. Another battlefield. I couldn't hear it, but <clears throat> I'm sure it was very Yeah, hopefully very loud. those eardrums shattered Can't when that thing hit. All right, so we got Amelia back on Soldier 76. I think that is her go-to comfort pick. Uh, I don't recognize James' character once again. I'm super sorry. Uh, Which one is James? Is he, is he a knucklehead? That's the one we're spectating right now. Yeah, knucklehead. Oh, yeah, that's Peptide. And this is yeah. King's Row. This is Oakmont's map right here. For years and years, this has been our favorite map. Is this the one we went on? This is the one we went on. I'm, I don't want to jinx it, though. Right. Don't, you don't ever say things like that on stream. <laughs> As soon as you say that, <laughs> I'm it's sorry, streamer diff, and we jinx the whole thing, okay? Like it happened in the LCS, it happens to everybody. So we, we never say stuff like that. We say stuff like, it's Oakmont's map, this will be great. But as soon as you say, like, oh yeah, we win this one. <laughs> Alright, and they've got, who's that, Roadhog as their frontline tank? Oh, oh interesting, interesting choice. Oh no, no, that's the new Gallington guy. I don't know who that, I don't know the name of that, but that's a new Overwatch 2 character. Uh, and it looks like oh, uh, Soldier's okay. job is to basically cut around that one wall and make that like a place they just can't hide behind. A lot of damage coming in, but we do get that first pickup uh, with Archer taking out their Reaper. So their damage output has just dropped substantially. Yeah, Oakmont is really controlling this this corner very well, this like tight space here. I think the Soldier is definitely really helping with that, with how much damage he can put out. Yep. Burn is that an ash? I think. Fortunately, Reaper is pretty squishy too, so only so much damage they can take there. That Reaper is maybe a little bit out front of where they should be. It does seem like that's maybe the first one to get picked off each time. 
Uh, who is that character? That's an Overwatch 1 character. I should know that one. And I'm a little surprised how far forward Oakland's in. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See up on that wall right there? All those turrets we placed? If they do make yeah. it around the corner, that's going to be a nasty surprise. Yeah, that's going to be rough. Yeah. Gonna... Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. They're like, oh, oh I'm gosh. backing up. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, there goes the Zarya at 100 charge. Just... Yep. Cutting through the team. And it looks like we lost two in that fight, but they'll be back in the action soon here. Uh, I believe the other team's uh, respawn point is a little closer, so it's an even fight. That does give them an edge every so much. Oh, and just coming around that corner has got to hurt. I do like that pick. Is that the, that's the Moira? Is that right? Moira versus Spellcaster things? Oh no, they've all been taken out. Oh, but is a little bit on the defensive here. Minute 41 left on the clock, and they might actually... So Zyra's still up. Okay. No, she's not. No. not oh, no. Wow, yeah, no, not, they're all dead. Yeah. Them, though. Darn. Yeah. So it now does. I think they'll get cards there. Push. And we will have to defend against the payload here. Clock is back up to 350. Soldiers down. With that, uh, that group queen. Don't know what she does, but I'm sure it's terrifying. Got Ooh, Bastion's on both sides. Uh, their Bastion putting down some pretty serious damage with multiple assists. Oakmon is backpedaling pretty hard here. Looks like we're rallying for that next choke point. Payload's going pretty slow, only two people touching. Now last week we actually stopped this so fast that my big concern was we had four people playing forward and only one person on the payload. And as a result, the payload mm -hmm. actually, I think, moved slower than it would have if we played a little bit less aggressively and all stood on it. It was a weird problem oh. to have. Like, that's a good problem to have. You know? You're so far ahead of the payload, you're actually slowing it down. Yeah. <clears throat> nice pickup by Amelia there. The second one comes in. There's the soldier point. Yeah. You know? And I hear uh, the Reaper ulti come support? out. Seems to be pretty equal in the trade so far. Yeah. And the idea of my game is just behind. Down to 230 seconds. Not quite yet at checkpoint one, but halfway there. I believe the defense has to stay on the car for it to push backwards, but right. I'm not yep. entirely yep. off that one. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's four picks. Oh my ace. gosh. Oh no, not quite an ace. We got one character still in. I've seen tougher spots. Overwatch is completely dead. Er, tch, oh, come on, sorry. <laughs> and Zarya, Zarya holds up, though. And I don't know if we'll stop it. Oh, and that was, what was that? That was a particular ulti. Was that Roadhog or some kind of guided missile or something? Uh, I don't think I saw it. You saw how my camera uh, went forward? And like it was a navigated missile, basically. Like a wire guided Oh, here they come. One for one. Taste is low, though. Yeah. It looks fine. Okay. Should be able to push the car back a little bit here. Yep. Get some progress on that. At least keep it from touching the uh, the checkpoint. Exactly. 60 seconds. Oh, 60 seconds is a long time though. There's at least one more push that got to the Yeah, I don't know what their ultimate ultimate uh, status is like on either team. Oh, uh, it looks like Ocon has none. Not even close. They must have been used for this Oh. Yikes, no Zarya ult is that's a game changer. If that Reaper has an ult, he might be able to. Oh no! Uh, oh! This is the thing we were worried about. Oh I think this is disaster! Yep. No! No! 
Ooh, I'm actually surprised uh, Omar got a counter kill amid all that chaos there. Like he was basically 1v5ing on that last pick there. That could I think be Junker Queen, if she they have to come she in to our uh, five with only their four, that could be the difference in this last pick here. A dark stamp. Yeah, I don't know how close the the respawn is for attack here. I think it. I mean, Pokemon might get there just it's quicker. It's true. Oh, Lucio gets a kill. The sound boop. It's interesting. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice the uh, the Overwatch change to Arissa. That's probably better for a last point hold here. Oh, uh, the, the centaur can be the eagles are. Is that a tracer? I don't think they have a tracer. Who's the super fast uh, divey character? Might be Lucio. Oh, that's right, Lucio. Right. All right. So uh, they complete with 44 seconds left. Let's see if Oakmont can now do the same nice. thing, but faster. Oh, right. hey, thanks, Blue. Um, Blue mentioned that uh, Bastion ultimate missiles drop from the sky. Oh, that's definitely a new change. And then Symmetra is the character we're wondering about. Cool, cool, cool. I really do like that uh, they switch game modes during uh, comp games like this. I feel like a game like League would be spiced up if it had some sort of game mode switching like that too. It would definitely make play... esports a lot more interesting. You ever get to play Twisted Tree Line? I've never heard of that. It's a 3v3 game mode for League of Legends. It's totally my favorite. Oh. It wasn't free damage. And it wasn't full on Summoner's Rift. It was kind of halfway between. Where you mm -hmm. have two lanes and a, a small jungle between them. Okay, and so like a quick nice play kind of thing. Is, yeah, with only three players per team. Um, you feel like you have a lot more agency over how well it goes. Yeah. You know, maybe you'll be a little bit less likely to be demoted to Iron 3. <laughs> yeah, if your personal skill could shine shine through a bit more. Or if you choose, then you really have to own the responsibility for it. <laughs> Yeah, or it's just your teammates' fault that much more. Ooh, two kills? Is that three? Making a steady push. I think one of them's an Anna. Nope, Anna's gone. Alright. It was a pretty quick capture, but we'll see if they can convert that. I'm almost worried that this is gonna have two minutes to go forward and not enough people on the blue. Hopefully they learn from their mistakes. <laughs> yep. Oh! And uh, Omar gets to switch to Widowmaker here. Okay, oh, okay. crowded environment. Is he going to get the range on this? He's getting pocketed by Mercy, so that's cool. That's better. He's definitely got a lot of uh, windows to pop up in in this map. Yeah. A lot of Ooh, tricky they, spots he could be in. Hmm. Yeah, he might have to switch. But coming around a corner like this is a little... mm -hmm. Oh, there's some new character too with uh, minimal range of all of Oh, really? Oh. And... Let's see. He's down. Oh, no, this is good. Oh, look at that Bastion following order. That's gnarly. Yes, too. That's gotta be tough to fight against. Yeah. Eagles are holding right in that choke point right there. It's going to be tough to get them out. Uh, pretty much, yeah. She can't be uh, hurt during that. She heals.
Okay, they do have Zarya ult up. They have Soldier May. Um, a lot of... They have two CC ultimates. Which could be really useful to combo into something, but... Oh, a big like damage. Yeah. 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 Ouch. Yeah. Wow. Darn. The switch to McCree is interesting. I think that definitely could be something. I think there's also some hesitancy to switch when your ult is charged. So like, Omar, for example, is locked into the for a bit just because of that. Yeah. What I'm thinking is a, uh... Look at this angle! Oh! Oh! Oh, an ult? Oh, nice! That was... Oh my gosh! And he's at three? Three at least? Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Four, it looks like. I was that is that all of them? Yeah, that was all of them. That was an amazing flank, wow. Yeah, and a great ulti too. It's really good map knowledge. <clears throat> Don't know if the Eagles will be able to will be able to stop them before they hit the checkpoint here. They might be able to just reach it. Yeah, it looks like they will. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely the Bastion. Oh, the Reaper. Oh. The, the Reaper Bastion combo is a, a lot of high damage there, it's kind of gnarly. Yeah. I think we need to counter with pirate ship. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, I always think that's the interesting. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Pull out the like season one strats. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the far oh, there's wow. been a lot of uh there's only one of a lot of character switching. Oh, oh. That character do so much damage. Oh, he's not alive anymore though. <laughs> Looks like Ramatra was <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it would work. <laughs> I don't even know if Bastion can turn into a turret anymore. So I don't even know. Yeah, oh yeah, that could work. Yeah. Nice. gets a couple there. Nice that far is controlling that space really well. Yep. And uh sweet three on payload, here we go. And look at this. Far it does have ultimate ready to go. Oh, this is the Faro! We can play yeah. Faro now! Oakland used to hate Faro! Go, oh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah! Faro used to wipe us out! Oh, Faro! Faro might wipe them out if she gets her ultimate off here. Yeah. She's in an interesting spot. Tank's dead. Yeah. Might not even matter, though. Might be able to just push it in. Well, they're gonna be coming through these respawns pretty fast. We can't afford to use them again. But yeah, I think... I don't want to speak too soon, but I think we're good. Think, unless there's one person that can touch it from their team, but it doesn't look like there is. If they touch it, it'll, it'll stop it. Not sure over what their uh, Oakmon is winning. No. No. Darn, darn, and that far ult got used during that fight too. That's rough. That's definitely not ideal. I don't think we make it in six seconds. Yeah, I think this one goes to the Eagles. Darn, what a heartbreak. <laughs> yeah. 
four meters off. I was so close. <laughs> oh my gosh. Game. Down. Both both supports down. Yep. Yep, I think this is okay. Well they were off by about 20, 30 ish seconds. Yep. That's disappointing. And or four meters, either way. Three, two, three. Darn. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Darn. Now hold on. There's some bonus round or no? Is there? This is like the tiebreaker round so I think somehow, right? Yeah. Yeah, this I, is, this I so, don't know. Because it's still 3-3, they have a mm -hmm. bonus 25 seconds. Um, but we still get to contest this overall game. That's super interesting, actually. I didn't know they did it. Like, I thought it was just you lose if you take more time. Pokemon is on attack, though. <clears throat> or first, it looks like. Um, they haven't, don't seem to have changed their comp at all. You have a band -aid? Who they might have added the Kiriko, but... Is someone who carries band-aids? Not. Huh, guess not. <laughs> Alright, and a uh, quick update. Our Super Smash team just finished playing. Uh, they were playing against you the Western Ranch the High School's uh, Cougars. Sure. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. it was 0-3 um, with some Likewise. pretty tough matches today. What are you willing to lose? Uh, uh, the uh, Super Smash team will be playing again lost. on Thursday, and that one we should be able to stream for the first time. Oh yeah, I think that's a Bara? But it could be an Echo now. Yeah. Oh, that was a Fara. Yeah, it was? Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, she's dead, so. Okay, good. Well, then we're all set. Yeah, as long as they can take the point, I think. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Oh no. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no. We got no heals. This person's not long Oh. I think that's that's at 0%. That's not good. That's not what you want. Hopefully, Oakmont can hold the other team to a uh, to a stalemate. Yep. I mean, I don't know if that 25 seconds actually matters. I don't know if that's enough to get a second fight in. I mean, maybe if they lose the first one, I don't know. If they lose the first fight, I don't know if they have enough time to get back in position and push all the way to the point again. Right. Even if they do get kills, Although, you know? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll find out. I that that could be enough to rally and go for like a second point. Perhaps, yeah. We'll see. Hmm. We could have used you in the old days. Whatever awaits us. These comps are definitely interesting. They're much more high damage than, than I remember comps being. And that's Usually they uh, tended to be more... Instead of six, you only have one tank. Oh yeah. So I think Overwatch 2 is supposed to be a little quicker paced and more exciting than Overwatch 1. It seems to be it. Yeah, because I, I think they... Well, they like killed barriers and stuff too. That's probably part of it. Uh, CC I think and the main stuff. competitor is uh, Valorant. Initiating combat. Which is mm -hmm. even more just like if you mess up and you die. <laughs> wow, they're coming yeah. through all at once there. That was quite a pump. Oh! Kills coming in both directions. That was fast. Even so far. Three down on each team. Oh, they're just they're trying down. to get any sort of percent. Yeah. If they get any sort of progress on the point, they win. That's yeah. what they're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really smart. Yep. But it doesn't also, seem to be this, successful. The speed and brutality of that push, they're gonna have plenty of time to respawn and try again two more times. That was really well coordinated. Nice job. Yeah, wow. That was dark step. 
Looks like Overwatch will get, er, I keep saying Overwatch, Oakmont will get back in time to defend though. We'll see. That Lucio's low. Uh-oh, Yeah, things seem to have cooled down. 15 seconds, they're really... Really crunch time now, I don't know... Eagles can do it here. I think as long as they can test for overtime, the Eagles can do stuff, but I don't know if they'll be able to. Yeah, no. Nope. No, they're all dead? Okay. Well, that is a complete I don't know what a thing. tie means. Uh, well, it's yeah. a best of five series, so hopefully that doesn't get too crazy later. <sighs> all right. Oh, going to game three then. Oh, you know what I forgot? I'm gonna dump the Eagles over right now and see what happens. Ready? <laughs> as soon as this clip's done, I'm gonna dump it. It's a 20 second buffer. We'll try it out. Alright. All right. Replay buffer done. Nice, nice. <laughs> oh, so what you gotta do is uh, OBS uh, makes a 20 seconds of a buffer. And then you have a folder open where it gets saved to. And you basically um, manually rename it to like replay one, replay two, replay three. And then OBS, you can queue up like a scene where those replays are stored inside it. And you can use like your stream deck or whatever to toggle them. It's pretty snazzy. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks for the heads up. Ooh. All right. Well, let's see what else we got here. Oh, on this PC, I don't have anything fancy else loaded up besides that. On my home PC, I've got like our short video clips and stuff loaded up too. So you played uh, a lot of uh, Reinhardt, you said. And then who was the other one you mentioned? Um, it was mostly Reinhardt. I played a bit of D.Va, too. She was also pretty space control -y. I liked her. Cool. Yeah. And robots are awesome. Robots are pretty cool. Nice. I've tried D.Va <laughs> yeah. just a couple times. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, uh, what role do you main? Oh, uh, in, in Overwatch? Um, yeah, I do you play, play, do you play uh, Agent Overwatch? of Chaos. It's not really damage, it's just chaos. I'm sure to confuse both the other team and my team. <laughs> Everybody's confused. Hopefully it creates a window of opportunity somehow, you know? <laughs> I've never heard of that one, but... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, it does damage to everybody. <laughs> you somehow found a way. Yep. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> oh, just checking chat here. What are the loyal fans saying? Oh, uh, VHL wants to come in and stream too. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, um, I'm gonna go into um, Twitch TV now and figure out how to do a raid. <laughs> okay. That would be cool. <laughs> okay. I'm not logged in. I am logged in. Because <laughs> uh, there's some way to go find the VHEL stream and then raid it. Yeah, I've heard of that before. And 
that's basically yeah. where our viewers join I've heard of that with their viewers. And it pops up through their channel temporarily. And then All at right. that point, we might pass it off to them and sign out. Once we get an online huh? notification from them. Yeah, but I'm happy to switch to spectating mode too. <laughs> advertisements on Twitch TV streams, uh, you guys should read uh, Shogun by James Clavell. It's a pretty good book, super long, kind of graphic and gory, but interesting time period in Japan. And then check out the new TV series that's releasing today. I don't know who else is super excited for that. It's coming out on Hulu and FX. Random free advertisement, sorry. <laughs> Just Shameless plug, yeah. Else. Yeah, but it is a really good book. It's, it's only uh, like 1,070 pages mm -hmm. or something too, so... Just only that. yeah it's it's like war and peace long oh <laughs> yeah i liked it there's some yeah. sequels too uh it starts out in the sengoku period i think where you know the shogun's trying to take over mm. um mm -hmm. and uh okay cool it looks like the hal gave the go ahead to start the next match and when i see their stream go live we're gonna try to this raid feature out too but yeah, super right. cool book. The guy wrote a series of books too, where it kind of follows right. a trading house that gets established, and it happens in like Shanghai and Hong Kong as well. So it covers a couple hundred year time span by the time uh, you know you've gone through all the books. But the sequels are definitely not as good as uh, the original, which is Shogun, which is the series that just got released. So book plug. <laughs> yes, read books, get knowledge. And uh, if you're an RTS fan, or even a turn-based strategy fan, um, Shogun 2 Total War, I think is in my favorite, personal opinion, the best of the Total War video game series. So check that out too. Oh! Have you ever played that Dude, Total that War? game's really good! Yeah, Shogun 2? Yeah, me and Fear... Dude, that game's really Me and Fear love it, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, one of my favorite games still. Me and Fear love it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, looks like our other team is uh, subbing in. That's cool, rotate through your players, I like it. All right. Well, I'm gonna put us on uh, post stream, and then I'm gonna figure out how to do this raid thing. So if you're watching our stream, get ready to be transferred into VHEL's uh, Shoutcaster's hands. And thanks for tuning in.